you find the one you love, gotta make sure that you love them right. Yeah, when you find the one you love. I got a girl that compliments my fly, and when it goes down, I know she gon' ride. I finally got somebody I can call my, my one time for the one time. What's going on, you young little bounty hunters, you? It's Bounty Hunter D, and thank you for joining me for, yes, another super amazing video. Listen, if you're new to my channel, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you turn your notifications on. That way, when I decide to do a live stream or anything crazy like that, and I want to upload it for everybody to see, you will not miss it at all. One of the amazing things that I like to do on this channel is to give shout outs to those of you who purchase merch. Yes, like this beautiful merch, like that down the screen, and this, you know, my super D, can you see, do I have to do this? Here you go. Yes, at BonnieHunterD.com, the exclusive merch, and the first shout out goes to Karen, thank you so much Karen, Tayshawn, thanks a lot Big T, Vicky, thank you so much Vicky, you young little bounty hunter you, Michelle, thank you so much Michelle, Katie, thanks a lot Big K, thanks a lot Big K, Derek, Thank you so much, Derek. Kristen, thank you so much, Big C. Damien times three, that means you got two, three items. Let me see what you got. Damien, you got you a come ride with me, T. You also have a lock it in, T. And you have that love, peace, and family, and lock it in forever, T. I appreciate that, Damien. And Jesper. Thank you, Jesper. Listen, if you want a shout out, click the link in the description and get the hottest merch in this here YouTube game. It's your boy, the real Bonnie Hunter and PI, Bonnie Hunter D. Also, recently, I had an amazing time. I got an invitation to be on Face the Truth on CBS. It was an amazing time with Vivica A. Fox and the crew. I want to say thank you so much for having me on your show. You can see, I don't know where I'm going to put it, but it's on the screen, some little pictures, and I wish I could show the video. If you didn't see it on CBS, it was airing today at 2 p.m. I guess you missed it. Maybe, just maybe, if I talk to those guys over there, they'll allow me to play just a little bit for you to see, because you missed it. But it was amazing. All right, stay tuned for the hunt. Ba, ba, ba. Baby, is there anything else that I need to say? Cause they watching me right now. Am I good? Cause I don't no, want to like. Good, you're Cause good. if I move, it's gonna blur the camera. So. No, you're good. Baby. I'm good. Yes, okay, yes. can I end it right here? Yes, yes, you can, baby. All uh, right, about. Okay, right about now. Okay, so thank you for coming in, uh, Kay. What's going on, Corey? Hey, how's it going, how man? You doing? I'm D. Hi, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. This is my wife, Jami. Hi. That's Hi. Ivan back there, and that's Drama Junior right there. I'm a private Hi. investigator. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Uh, the reason that you're here is Corey hired us to find out uh, what's going on in your relationship. Uh, you're oh, here today to do a lie detector test, and I just need your consent on these cameras uh, that you'll do that yes. and to take the test. So. Yes, you have my full consent. I know exactly why I'm here. We have your oh, full you consent, like right now? Yes. Do it? You yes. knew. You you knew. Yes. That yes. You I know. To yes. He talks about this all the time. This has got to be oh. the oh. first oh. time that someone is actually like, like didn't fight us to do a lie detector test. Oh no! I know what I do behind closed doors, and I'm a faithful woman, and I'm here to prove that. Nothing to hide. Damn. That's well, that's, that's real that's talk. Good. Okay, so Corey, this I is mean, like a little different for us, man. Um, why why is she here today? Man, honestly, things haven't been the same, like, since we first got together and just, you know, lately I've just been having a hard time trying to, you know, like, get her to, you know, do stuff with me, you know. I've been, Can you elaborate? What do you mean, like, do stuff with you? Um, like, go to the movies, spend time on the couch? What type of things are you talking about? It just seems like, like we got a huge separation in between us that's kind of causing us to not want to be intimate anymore or... You know, like, I, I'll do stuff for her, like cook and clean and make sure that she has something good to watch on TV when she gets home, you know what I mean? But mm -hmm. just, I can't, we haven't had sex in, like, I can't even tell you when, but, you mm -hmm. know, it's just, it's just okay. not the same anymore, you know? Okay. Have you talked to her about it? I mean, I talk to her about it all the time, but it just seems like we're kind of, like, on two different paths right now, you know? So, mm -hmm. I, what's, I mean, you I mean, seem very genuine, right? Yes, you came yes. in. And, you know, like I said, I'm still in that shock factor that yeah, she cause... wants to take the test. Man, usually when people come in, they have something to hide, man. They have a problem with And, them. you know, they fight that. Just from her demeanor, I don't know, you know, what the test is going to say, but just from her demeanor, you know, she doesn't strike me as a person that is, like, unfaithful in terms of how they're behaving when they get in here. 
right? That's all I'm basing it off of. That's it. She agreed to do the test. She agreed to be here. You know why you're here, all that stuff. He's been talking about it. And you're saying basically it's because what's going on in the bedroom and spending time. Is there a reason why you, you know, you guys aren't being intimate together? I mean, honestly. Yeah, honestly. I've, I've been working a lot. I've picked up so many more hours at work just to keep the household running. And I mean, I feel like he should understand. He, he always wants to have sex. It's always this and that. I need rest. I need my own free time. So is this just based off intimacy? That's I mean, I got a high sex drive, but at the end of the day, like, I work too, you know? And, you know, I'm tired too, but I still make time well, for Hold on, it. let me just, just so I can clarify, because I'm not yeah. sure. Is it just based off intimacy that like she's not getting busy with you? That's what this whole thing is about? There's nothing else? I mean, no, is she it's... hiding her phone from you? Is she coming mm-hmm. home late from work? Is she leaving early from work? Did mm-hmm. you smell men cologne on her? Or, I mean, is there anything else... Yeah, anything? anything. Yeah, because right now we don't have much, like you know, yeah. to to believe that. And the way that she's behaving right now, basically, is it it does it's not telling us that it, she is unfaithful. Exactly. I mean, we're gonna take the test, you know. And this yeah, kid, no I can problem. be wrong. I've been wrong I mean, before. I just want to get down to the bottom of it, to be honest. No with problem. You. No problem. You know that I love you. This is this is ridiculous, honestly. That's hey. okay. Then you know what. Let's just get to the test. Yes. Let's just do it. Okay. Yes. All right. So uh, I'm, I'm going to have you wait out outside, and then we're going to go ahead and set everything up, and we're going to get the lie detector test going. Right? Is yeah. that cool? That's All right. Fine. Let's do it. Have you ever taken a lie detector test before? No. You have not. Okay, so I'm going to ask you a series of questions. All I need you to do is answer yes or no. Don't give me any excuses, and I just need you to look forward. Don't look at my computer or anything else around you. And my wife is going to read your body language, and Ivan's going to read your body language from there. So you're going to have some eyes on you, and I'm just going to uh, look at the monitors here, okay? Okay. Okay, so we're going to start right now. Is your name Kay? Yes. Is your boyfriend's name Corey? Yes. Do you fantasize about other men while being intimate with Corey? No. Have you ever stolen from Corey? No. In the past 30 days, have you used the internet to meet other men? No. Are you having unprotected with anyone other than your boyfriend, Corey? No. Are you having protected with anyone other than Corey? No. Have you engaged in group since you've been with Corey? No. Have you allowed anyone to give you money, male or female, for or attention? No. Are you cheating on Corey? No. Okay, so um, Corey, we just finished the lie detector test with Kay. And uh, Kay, I usually ask people when they come in my office um, if there's anything that they want to. I'm not saying that she's guilty, but is there anything that perhaps, you know, you came in very confident, you're willing to take the test. Is there anything that you might have second thoughts about because you've just taken this test that possibly you can come clean about? No, I have nothing, nothing to come clean about. I'm 100% honest all the time. Okay, let's just get right to the answers then yes. here. Q and A, all right, I asked uh, Kay a series of questions. Uh, she had to answer in the yes or no. And the first question I asked her, um, is your name Kay? And of course, she passed that one, right? So I'm asking questions to, to gauge how nervous she is, and these are called baseline questions. So I can look at the graph, and if it's really, really jumpy, it indicates there's something going on there, right? She passed that when I asked if her name was Kay. She says, yes, lie detector test determined that that was the truth. I asked, is your boyfriend's name Corey? She said, yes. Lie detector test determined that that was the truth. I asked, do you fantasize about other men while being intimate with Corey? And this was a big one for you because you said that the intimacy is you feel that it's not there anymore, right? She says, no, lie detector test determined that that was the truth, that she does not fantasize. And it could be because she's not really doing anything with Corey. Exactly. I mean, it could be well, that too. She but doesn't have time to do that. Either. Yeah, I mean, it could be that, <laughs> but we're not trying to stretch it out. It is what it is when I ask the question. I asked, have you ever stolen from Corey? She says, no, lie detector test determined that that was the truth. So, so far, so good. She's passing everything. 
I asked in the past 30 days, have you used the internet to meet other men? She says, no. Lie detector test determined that that was the truth. She's passing. Um, I asked, are you having, these are important too. Big, big question, cheater questions. People fail these, right? Yeah. I asked, are you having unprotected sex with anyone else other than Corey? She says, no. Lie detector test determined that that was the truth. So then I tried to flip it, right? Because I noticed she's passing everything. So, you know, some people, you know, that's why I ask, have you taken a lie detector test before to see, hey, you know what, Ivan? We've seen people try to beat these, right? Yeah, they try to stop breathing. Try to stop doing all that kind of stuff, control breathing and, you know, think of whatever other things I asked. Are you having protected with anyone else other than Corey? She says no. Lie detector test determined what, baby? That that was the truth. That's the truth, man. Um, I asked, have you engaged in groups? We're trying to find out if she's been extra naughty since you've been with Corey. She says no. Lie detector test determined that, that was the truth. She's not. I asked, have you paid for Basically, I mentioned, are you allowing other people to pay you for, for gifts? Right? That's cheating, too. She says no. Lie detector test determined what, sweetheart? That that was the truth. She has not yeah, failed anything. She has not failed. And the last question that you wanted to know, Corey, is why you contacted us. I asked, are you cheating on Corey? Because she can pass everything. But if she gets this one wrong, then there's, a, there's something going on. Then she really beat this test, Ivan. Yeah. She says no. Lie detector test determined. That was the truth. And you know what's the thing too that I was uh, watching her body wow. language and as she was as calm as she is right now, so she was. I not think like maybe something's wrong with y'all test or something like that. Listen, I, I asked these questions. Um, come here, let me show you the graph. Are you serious? Let me show you the graph. You can bring the camera around too. You see this right here? This is when I first started when we hooked her up to the machine, right? Right. This, these are lies, right? If, if I see a big spike, I know that's a lie. Look at her test. Every question I asked, there's no spikes. There's no jumps. Every question she passed, bro. That's it. She passed every single one. You see it right there. So the things that you're thinking about, go ahead, have a seat. The things that you're thinking about right now in terms of, you know, her cheating on you, I think that, what, paranoia? Yeah, I would say... Paranoia, insecurity, or perhaps, or, or maybe, else? yeah, maybe something else. You got a good girl, bro, and that's rare to find. Thank you. You got a good ass girl, bro. Which leads me to this, Corey. You brought Kay in here for a lie detector test, right? Right. And this is something out of the ordinary. We don't usually do this, but we follow her around. She's doing exactly what she's supposed to do. Yeah. So then my wife had a great idea that I never, like, usually would do. But she's filled with great ideas. Exactly. She said what? Let's follow him. So we decided to follow Let's you around, Let's see what Corey. we found about right. him. Yeah. Well, this is, you know, because we couldn't find anything on her. And you sounded so paranoid with me over the phone. Man, D, she got to be cheating on me, man. She, yeah. You know, she's got to be cheating. I said, man, come on in. Let's talk about it. You didn't really give me a reason why you thought she was. Because she not doing it in the bedroom? Right? So we followed you around. So perhaps, do you think I found anything out? Are you curious to know what we found out? I'm These good. Guys. I know I'm not doing nothing. So bro. you're not cheating on her? Hell no. And so I'm not trying to like flip this up. Yeah. I'm not trying to flip this around on you, but I'm just asking you this. Are you cheating on her? Nah, bro. You're not cheating on her I'm at all? Cheating. I'm faithful, man. Okay. All right. So I guess we didn't well, find anything, right? Thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. No, we did Go ahead, Ivan. Let me show you something, bro. Yes. What's, what's going on? I'm going to tell you what's going on right now. You know what? I told you I had information on Corey. That's his girlfriend right there. Yeah, yeah. You hire me to find out about her, and it's you. No. No, 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 no. Don't fight. Don't fight. Don't fight. Don't fight. Who is this? Don't fight. You don't know? Who are you? Don't fight. Who are you? You know who she is, bro. You know who she is. Okay. So you you, you had me come in here. You wanted us to hire. You hired me to find out. 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 You
I don't even know. Oh, you know exactly. You know exactly who she is. You know exactly who she is. Yo, man, I paid you. You did pay me, right? But it's the one. You're the one. You're the one who's cheating. You're the one. Out of my office. Can I get up? No, you can't get up. You stay there, homie. You assaulted what? me. You assaulted me. You stay right there. And I would have beat your ass too. Oh, you would have whooped me? You feel really? That? You feel that? Now, how does it feel having two tasers on you, homie? You f want to assault me again? I should taser out of you. You ever felt that? Faithful to you. Let this yeah, up. Get up. Get, get out my out office, man. Get out my office, you little bi. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> You deserve this, this right here, the truth. He thought it was you. We found out it was him. We found out it was him. And I did it for free for you. Thank you. You can thank my wife. She's the one that came up with the idea. I'm sorry this happened to you. I'm yes, really that's sorry. Why, that's why he was like, oh, yeah. oh my God, let me see. He asked Jeez. me all the time. I know. Are you cheating? Are right. you cheating? Normally, that's... It was that's him. what happened, yeah. And because people don't realize his, that. Yeah. The one that's accusing and accusing and accusing, oh, you're cheating on me, you're cheating yeah. on me. That's the person that usually that is, is doing, doing the it. cheating. Yes, that is the, uh, that's the person that is doing it. That's why, we, that's why we decide exactly. to, to follow <laughs> to him. Because we didn't find anything. You are a very good person. You go to your job. You went to your mom's house, right? You yeah. went. Uh, we followed you. You are such an amazing person. You went to the library. Yeah, yeah. You were. We even saw you. Listen, you're such a good, kind-hearted person. We saw you when you were reading those books to those kids in the library. <laughs> you volunteer doing that, don't you? You're a great person. You don't need a bum like that. You, you don't need this that. guy. You okay. don't need him. Right. This is why my wife said, hey, you know what? Let's follow him. Thank because you. we saw you your heart. Welcome. You're welcome. It's, you deserve something better than that. Absolutely. Yes. He is not, oh, not even worthy to cry. So stop that. Yes. Right. Okay? How did you get here? Did you guys drive or you drove home? I, I, I went with him. Okay. okay. So we're going to so, figure out yeah. a way to get you home, okay? Yes. I have been hunting him for weeks now. But I can't do it alone. Join me. I call him Vector. In this game, I will provide videos to allow you to choose and to play along. Choose wisely. Do you remember me? Baby girl, this world is a very, very evil place. I'm Michael Caine and I approve this message. The mayor's up my ass on these budget cuts. I just thought I should let you know that that poor girl gets her ass beat by him all the time. I don't respect any man that puts his hands on a woman. Caine, yeah. how do you know where I live at? I'm the king and you're just a pawn in my world. I need a favor and I need it done now. The scene is getting crowded, I'm a robber always I don't need your approval, 